Wait, hold on, wait. No. Marker. Check. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. We got Randy and we got Kevin. Yo. This is gonna be a good one. And we got some Angry Goat Pepper Company sauces today. Um, if I remember right, pretty sure this is the first time that we've had some from this company on the show. Um, I've had some off the show, but not these particular. Um, First one we got is one of their brand new, the Cool Hippo, which is a lower heat version of their raved about and SCOVI award winner 2016, the Purple Hippo. I've heard many people talk great things about it. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a very unique sauce and uh, we'll dive into that. <laughs> All right. um, so we'll start with the Cool Hippo. All right. The original Purple Hippo was conceived several years ago but we heard it was just too spicy for many people, so we listened and created a milder, cooler version. Cayenne peppers, prickly pear cactus juice, and a hint of strawberries are blended to create a one-of-a-kind sauce that can be enjoyed by everyone. Try Cool Hippo on poultry, pork, ice cream, or in a frozen daiquiri. And when I hear ice cream, my ears <laughs> perk up. So apparently the difference is cayenne pepper with this one and habaneros with the hotter version. Otherwise, they have the same ingredients. Ah, alrighty. So, as far as ingredients overall here, we got the prickly pear cactus juice, which, wow, that's off to a pretty crazy start. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, agave nectar, um, cayenne peppers, jalapeno peppers, red bell peppers, uh, apple cider vinegar, strawberries, uh, pure cane sugar, lemon juice, lime juice, sea salt, cayenne pepper powder, scorpion pepper powder. Man, that sounds fun. really awesome. So awesome. Wow. All that stuff. That, that, oof. <laughs> and it's just kind of like, I guess it's a fun little... Yeah. <laughs> little I especially label. like the new label. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. I like the Pretty old school. Angry Go Pepper Company, they got, they got a lot of cool labels. Looks nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely you can see some big old seeds in there. <laughs> um, yeah, great color. Oh, wow. Don't Put need, that knife don't away. Don't need that silly knife because we got perforation. <laughs> nice. Very nice. What a good day. It's just, when you're on the go, you can't do anything wrong with that. That a good? <laughs> Whoa! Um. Holy cow! Never smelled anything like that. That's uh. Won't Randy say smell yeah, it before yeah. I? <laughs> I I like that smell. Wow. I am gonna be honest. Wow. I do not like that smell. It's like the fruitiest smelling sauce. For I've some ever reason, seen. I what? smell peas. Peas? And there's no peas in there, mind you. But I don't know, my brain is telling me I smell peas. What are you talking about? Let me smell it again. I don't know, it's, it's, it is Let me smell it's it different, again. but yeah, it's. That it's got pear a sweet cactus and juice, uh, agave. Like the ca the, it's the ca you're probably smelling the cactus juice. Strawberry? I don't know, I think I still smell a, something along the lines of like peas. It smells fruity to me. It is, I do get a fruitiness too, but... I think it's so pretty. Mm. I mean, there's, it's a, okay, there's a slight funk, if anything at all, a slight funkiness to it, not really at all, but, I mean... I've heard, um, from a good buddy, um, Scott Michael. Scott Michael. Um, yeah, awesome <laughs> dude. Uh, he was telling me about the original, um, because he's a big fan, um, that the cactus... The prickly pear cactus can sometimes give off a bubblegum flavor-ish. Um, and I'm not a fan of like the original bubblegum type flavor. 
Mind you, it's probably nothing like straight up like that, but you can probably get like the faintness, supposedly. And also, I'm not just a, a fan of pear. So this, you know, this is gonna be a hard, already an uphill battle for me. But I'm, try, I'm here to try this. Yeah? I'm here to try this. Try. My mouth is watering. I'm so ready for this. Great pour. Um, I, I, I tell you what I do like is the consistency of it. It's got a good good pour. Slight chunkage. It's it's a good looking sauce because you can see the, the flex and stuff. Small chunks. Oh, it even smells. It smells even better on the spoon. On the spoon, I'm still not a fan. It's so fruity. It's got like a tomatoiness to it. And yeah, actually, yeah, a little a, bit. I don't know, it's, I like it. Well, cool hippo. Cheers. Yes! Wow. That still has heat, actually. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm saying who because of the flavor. Um. That is amazing. Now this is going to be a hard one for me because I'm just going to come out and flat out. I don't like the pear flavor initially, and I, I, uh, I overall am not really digging it. <laughs> wow! Wow! We are complete opposites. I wow. love that sauce. I'm loving it I too. Love that I'm sauce. loving it too. And Whoa. I'm so excited for a hotter version of that. <laughs> what I'm actually really like when you're really letting the after flavor, when you're letting the mellow out, you're starting to taste the strawberries that are in there at some point too. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's, it just tastes, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's insane. It's totally different, but uh, it's really good. I, I don't know. I think the only thing that I could possibly like this on is ice cream. Ice cream? I could... Yeah. It's that's the probably... Ice cream on there. That daiquiri idea. Ooh. I I don't know. For the heat-wise, it is a little hotter than I thought it was going to be, but that's not saying it's really hot or anything. It's still probably like a two for me. But it, it, I thought it was going to be lower yet. Um, yeah, it has surprisingly more heat than I was expecting, hmm. which I would give it a two for heat also. Yeah. Yeah, I guess two is fair. Yeah, I'd say two is, uh, you know, not like totally devoid of heat, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, and seeing we got pretty much the same sauces, we'll come back around and do the overall for both after this one. Right, um, yep. So let's pop this one open. Oh, I'm so ready for this <laughs> one now. Another good um, perforated seal. <laughs> and it has this, this one... The, uh, the purple hippo compared to the cool hippo for looks wise, pretty much the same thing. Consistency is the same. The The original uh, purple hippo is a little darker, just a little bit. A little darker. And you can't see the seeds as much. The seeds look a little bigger in the cool. Okay, that, this one, this was a little better to me because that pear s smell is masked by the pepper. It's a little more balanced, yeah, with the spices. The scorpion. Yeah. Like, it must be more scorpion because I can smell it. Yeah, oh, wow. That blends together nicely, though. I do mm -hmm. like the Because smell it's still there. there. You yeah. can tell it's still there. It's just like it... It just completed it. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Man. I'm more excited about this one. I see why it's an award winner. Still same good pour, good consistency. Overall, like I was saying before, looks the exact same, just the seeds, not as much smaller seeds. I don't know why I poured so much. <laughs> Alright, original yes. purple hippo. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Nice. Now that I like nice. a lot more. There is a difference in flavor. Wow. The the more heat, the more heat of the like I think it's got to be scorpion because I taste that. But mm -hmm. um, that really changes it for me personally. That really balances that pear cactus. The can't even say it. It really balances it out well. Um, 
That's so good. That's so it's good. really it, good. It, that like sweet so heat. It it's is the immediate exa- sweet. Yeah, sweet and the heat immediate is a good heat. explanation. That could. This could make an interesting um, rib. Like marinade, what? yeah, glaze, yes, glaze, uh, sure. yes. Chicken, I would like that on chicken Dude. wings. It's just, oh, uh, that yeah. sounds so. I good. like the pork idea. I'm not crazy about like pork, but I can see that on a pork. Yeah, like, it's pork got that chop or something. For me, pork, you know, you kind of want. Sometimes it's paired really well with like a sweet type deal. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like a sweet counterpart. And, mm-hmm. That's definitely at the sweet, and it's definitely building for me. As it far is. As it's heat. still building. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> First, I was thinking that's not too much hotter, but now it's actually. It building. is. It is very noticeably hotter. Um, I'm getting a good back of the tongue. Me too. Going to the throat. That burn. sweetness sticks around too. I can still taste all that fruit. Um, he was. Yeah, it's noticeably different. I would give this a five. Man. Maybe getting into the six. I'll I- give it a four for heat. It's a little more up there, burning my lips. I definitely give it a six, actually. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Serious heat. Um, Woo. Okay, so overall, for the Cool Hippo, it's it's a miss for me. It's got just too much of the um, the prickly pear. I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. And without that extra heat, I notice it too much. So with that, I'm going to have to go with one horn. Um, I, I just, yeah, it's not preference. for me. Personal, Personal preference, preference, not for me. <laughs> um, but Purple Hippo, now that's a different story. I could see myself using this one. That extra heat really balances it out. This one, I, I like it more. So I'm going to go with three horns on that one. I can give, I'm honestly going to give both of those five horns. <laughs> Woo! Like, depending on where your tolerance is at, if your tolerance ain't that high, get the lower one. For it's, sure. It tastes so good. Yeah. And the same thing if you can handle a little more heat. It's, this one it. will get you ready for this one. Like, um, it's still. I this like one is still lingering. My yeah. tongue my tongue is still burning. I would not complain. With, I have a higher tolerance. I'm still not going to complain if I get the cool hippo. Yeah. Wow. Like, it's That's so good. Wow. One of my favorite <laughs> sauces. Well, I'm going to give this one four horns. And I will actually give this one four and a half horns. Oh, so um, mainly because of just the, um, this one being for me personally, it's, it's pretty up there. It's still building. Um, <laughs> it may not be for everybody, may not be for everything or whatever, you know, it may not always just, um, you know, not everybody can get into it necessarily. But um, so yeah, four and a half. So yeah, there we go. All right. Well, Great that, job. <clears throat> that's an awesome. It's amazing. Sauce. And you know this is this is a good example of where preferences come into play. Mm-hmm. Um, as you can see, I really did not care for something. Yeah. And these guys are raving about it. So you know what? <laughs> I've had, like I said, I've had some of the other Angry Goats, so I know I am a fan. Um, everybody, go check this out. It's an awesome company. They got really cool labels, fun names. <laughs> um, they got some burners. And they got some really unique, original tasting sauces. Go check them out. And uh, hit that bell if you want to keep seeing more of these awesome videos. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. I know there's a lot of people out there that have tried at least the uh, the Purple Hippo. Let us know what you think. Let me know how wrong I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and as always, keep it hot and heavy.